to show you how to add special effects um, to different synthesizers or samples or clips by using the mixer, um, the master mixer, whatever. Anyway, um, we can go to our step se sequencer and I will go to pattern. You know what? We'll create a new project. So I won't save any changes. We'll start fresh. Okay, so pattern one. Right now I'm on the step sequencer. I'll create basic kick. So that is a fill each four steps. A kick on every four, which sounds like this. Now, say for example you wanted to add reverb, okay? At the top, you can click this button that says view mixer. We'll click that. Now, pull this one to the side and pull the step sequencer over here. As you can see, if we pull this tab, we have all these inserts, insert 9, 10, 11, 12, and it just keeps going on. Now, we want an open slot, so we'll click on insert 9, okay, and one thing to make sure you do is to make sure kick is highlighted, and what I mean by highlighted is that the green light is only on for the kick. You see, if I cl click, they'll highlight everything. We don't want that, and I don't want it to be off. I want it to be on, so I want kick. The green light is on for kick, and we'll come back to insert 9. We'll right click, we will go to link selected channels to this track. What we've just done is we've li linked the kick to the mixer. You can see it says kick right here. Now, now that we have kick inside the mixer, we can click on kick, and we have all these options up to number 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 click on option 1 and we have all these presets and effects that we can add such as you know bass boost, blood overdrive whatever you want to get a desired effect now what we said was reverb as an example of course you can do whatever you want so you know we can go to reverb 2 right now we'll keep it simple we'll go back so in case you wanted to change it we'll go back we'll click reverb now, if we wanted to turn it off, the light is right here, off, on, and we can control the percentage too. But we want it on, we'll bring it up, and we have all these options, low cut, high cut, room size, uh, pre-delay, diffusion, color, high damping, decay, dry, and reverb. So, you know, we'll just um, apply some basic settings. We can put a reverb of 30%, and say a decay of one second. Now if we play it back, you see we get a different effect and that is because we have linked kick with the green light to insert 9 it is a linked channel and we've added fruity reverb now how can you control this within well for example if you wanted to control this within your playlist that is very easy you can only you can just go back go to fruity reverb and you see the percentage that I was, I was talking about how you can control right click that and create automation clip. You want to click on that. Now that you've done that, you can zoom in by clicking that and dragging. You can see that we have Fruity Reverb, the automation clip. The automation clip lets you control the percentage and, and basically what I like I would say is real time in the song. So perhaps you would want 50% at the beginning and you know 82% reverb here and 0% reverb here and just 0% for the rest of the song. That gives you a lot of customization too. So that's just a basic overview of adding um, special effects and effects to samples, synthesizers, automation clips, uh, not automation clips, audio clips, my bad. <laughs> so you know if you want to add special effects such as you know whatever have you, you know it's your choice, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so that's just a basic overview, overview of the effects and adding effects to different samples and audio clips. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope this tutorial helped you out.